Hi there, this is Elizabeth from AllThingsPaper.com and I'm here to show you my latest mini. It's um, a little bigger than the other minis I've made, the little tiny envelope minis. Um, I love this thing, I loved how it turned out. And I'm going to bring my camera in and set it down so that I can show you this way. I wanted to give you a full shot of it because it's um, bigger. Anyway, this is the cover and what I did is I used um, the Hidden Hinge system by Kathy Orta. I used that kind of binding system using um, envelope, large envelopes and for each page and there are six pages inside plus the, the cover. Now the outside I used a chipboard that I covered and then this is here on the binding part. This is a uh, canvas that I painted with uh, beautiful luminaire paint. So the overall size of this is uh, 7 inches, uh, 5 by 7, so that it fits the 4 by 6 pictures perfectly. So anyway, uh, on the cover here you can see, I love this, um, this is, says Old Curiosity Shop. And you can't see it in this, but it's got a shot, just a nice little bit of glitter. I didn't go overboard with the glitter, but just a nice amount. And this is a window that I made using the Tim Holtz die. and. Can you see? I put the crackle, so it's got that old-fashioned look to it. And I made this little um, flower box here. I didn't use a die. I just cut it. And again, I used that crackle paint. And the flowers are a combination. About half of them are the Prima flowers. And then the others I made using the Cherry Lynn um, Miniature Rose die and put it together. So that's these little ones here and these are the Prima flowers here. And this is a wonderful lion's head that I put um, on there. I made this out of uh, paper clay that I rubbed with uh, Gilder's paste. And let's see, this I made, um, this is from, this was shiny silver and I made it look old fashioned with paint and uh, then and rubbed some rust Gilder's paste on it and so on. And the eyes are from the uh, Graphic 45. This whole book is from the Graphic 45 papers, the old Curiosity Shop papers, which is my favorite line. Over here are some uh, charms that I made. This is from a uh, Home Depot laminate sample that I altered and I added those tiny little beads, the B-E-E-D-Z beads and uh, this is a paper charm that I made and this is a Tim Holtz charm and these are the uh, clocks, clock handles and this is just a pretty shiny bling and then back here this is the um, uh, Tim Holtz swivel clasp and then I added little charms here, the gear uh, sterling heart silver and uh, just some little findings I had in my stash so all together it makes this nice little charm dangle which if you don't want you can take off this just comes right off so this opens up here with this pretty organza rib ribbon and we go to the first page this is the um, curiosity shop cabinet that I fussy cut out and then I added the uh, glossy accents here to the uh, glass to make it look like glass and then I built using foam core and paint I built this um, little ledge and on it I put some old things here there's a shell a piece of a broken piece of china and a little uh, lock and key isn't that cute and then I popped up a butterfly here and this is a pocket because it's only glued halfway down. And then back here, there's lots of tags here. There's, um, this is the wonderful One Pig's Fly tag. And this is uh, from the paper, just cut out. And this is from the paper cut out, as is that. I love all these. Well, then you come to the next page. And this page is uh, interactive in a way. It has a tag that comes out here. This comes out and you can put pictures here. And this is a beautiful graphic that I found. Uh, I've had this for a long time and I added the gear here and I put the little bling in it. And there's a little bit of glitter. Can't see, it's not a lot. But this has a little turn here. 
this holds it closed and when you, you open it up and you flip it out and then here's another little tag that comes out here so there's a pocket and then here is another full size this will fit a four by six both sides and that just goes back in here isn't that cool and uh, this goes back in here and then we close it back up so then this page is the next page and this is a simple pocket and I added a little prima flower popped up a butterfly and then these are some fun add-ons that I that I made this is a little wallet with a magnet it's held by a magnet and in in here are cute little ten little um, labels that you can use to label your pictures and you can use um, either side you can the backs are lined and you can either write on them or use the front thought that would be something you might like it says whimsical and then this is a little wallet that I made and it's again it's held down with a uh, magnet and then you open it up and inside here are two little pullouts isn't that great it says observations it's a stamp I love that and this closes up like that again so now this page is um, that's a pretty graphic from the paper line and this is held with a magnet so you can uh, see it won't open it won't flip open and when you flip it up there is this beautiful the butterflies and what I did is I cut one but butterfly out and I popped it up here and put some glitter on it and then down here this is a uh, flap that comes out again it's held by a magnet and it opens up and then there's a spot there's a space here and here for pictures and then there's a large picture area here so that closes and that closes isn't that cool and then each of these pages here all have the big full um, four by six they come out here of all every one of these has a pocket so that's another area for pictures lots of pictures this uh, album will hold oh, 40 pictures which is a lot of pictures this is a pocket here that I made uh, using part of the paper and I, I backed it with um, chipboard and this is a folio kind of it has areas for three pictures and on the back side it has another three pictures and this one here I made another little pocket here so that this comes out there's room for your picture and this is a tag that you can also write on or add your pictures to so that goes right in here here we have the Tim Holtz clock face and I made it real grungy using different types of gilders paste I used the patina and rust and silver and uh, Venetian gold love that love how that came out and then here when you pull this out you can see the clock and I don't can you see that there's a nice flourish here love that I used um, glimmer mist on a die cut flourish to make it look ancient and this is a pretty tag it's got a little bit of glitter and then this is three tags put together that you can either put pictures on or write on whatever whatever you like to do and again here's this pull out full size both sides and this is a very cool this is a uh, elastic band so that you can put a whole ton of pictures there if you wanted to just put a stack of pictures there they would stay there and another pretty flourish and this is a little folio book that I made some of the old-fashioned books were wrapped like that and you could untie it and uh, so I copied one and made this and when you open it up I want to hear it says it says the old curiosity shop and there's pretty butterflies and then when you open it it has uh, spots here for writing and then here are places to put pictures and it's like a little booklet isn't that cute and you'll notice there are maybe one other this is another paper line that I added that just matched the paper, the Graphic 45, so well. And again, here's some writing areas. 
Isn't that cute? And that just ties up and then it goes back in here. This is a cute corset with a hoop skirt that I made and the hoop skirt is from the Tim Holtz um, birdcage. Isn't that cute? And I only glued it halfway down so it becomes a tag area pocket. And this is a tag that I made. It says um, curious with some little butterflies and a little uh, glittered uh, branch. And then it's blank on the back. Isn't that cute? So this goes right here. And you can put pictures back here. And like I said, this is a pocket. This is a flower that I made. And then there's a popped up butterfly here. And I painted these leaves with that the same luminaire paint. And again, here's another nice large pullout. And here's another pocket. And this is another photo mount that I made. Isn't that great? I like this one. I pieced this together using different papers to make that nice pattern. And then this is from the stamps. And I stamped it and um, put this together and backed it with the blacks. And so this is a new another pocket for your photo mounts or pictures right there. And you could also put a picture here if you wanted. So this goes here. And then this, I think this is my favorite page, how this turned out. I wanted to make an old-fashioned door. So what I did is I took the um, black cardstock and I embossed it. And then I put Gilder's paste on it. And then I mounted it on chipboard and put in the Tim Holtz, uh, I don't know what you call those, but um, they're kind of like old-fashioned door hinges or something and I, I use the same Gilder's paste on here so this is cool because it opens up and then in here this is a framed area and this I only glued it down on the sides so when you have a picture you can put it right in here you can put your picture right there and then you could also put a picture here on the back side of the door which is also embossed isn't that pretty I just love how that turned out it's kind of like an old-fashioned door. Isn't that great? So then you turn, and here's another pocket. Easy. Put this in. This is a this is that wonderful shoe, and what I did is I glossy accented it so that it shines. And here's the back. And this pocket, you might recognize this texture. It is a Dunkin' Donuts coffee holder. And when I bought my coffee, as soon as I saw it, I thought, ooh, I know what I'm going to do with that. So I cut it up and I ran it through my die cut machine and made it into the pocket and made that flower. That's a little prima flower. Popped up the butterfly. Isn't that pretty? So it's nice and thick. It's cardboard. This page is um, When Pigs Fly. And that's the Tim Holtz um, birdcage die with the beautiful <laughs> the wings. I, I put glitter on the wings and I fussy cut out the pigs. And then I made this little pocket here and I um, ran it through the embosser and put on the Gilder's paste and made it old fashioned looking so that you can just tuck so that becomes a beautiful pocket. And then I made this photo mount here, like here. And once again, this pulls out both sides. Oh, and I forgot over here, there's another one. Every page has got to pull out full size for four by six pictures. And then this page is a wonderful, I love this, the butterflies. And this is held by magnets, you can see, and it opens up. Whoop, it opens up and then it opens up. So you have these nice three large panels for full size pictures. So that's one, two, three, four, five pictures right there. And then look at this. This is a pocket up here, and this is another beautiful tag that I made here. This is a tea stained all in here, and then I glitter embossed the girl with the key and mounted her on there. And on the back here, this is white embossed using the stamps from the line and a couple of other stamps. So this is neat because there's a like a hidden pocket back here so that that'll fit right back in here. And then the last page is, once again, Tim Holtz die. This is the sewing die. And I mounted it using a pretty flower here, a Prima flower, that I painted with uh, Glimmer Mist. And then um, I only I glued this down here and here so that it's open here to become a pocket. And then these are more 
pictures and pockets for your uh, pictures. And then this was just a great stamp that I had and I embossed it. Isn't that terrific? And then we come to the last page, which just has my little logo on it. And that's the back is plain. So overall, this will fit 40 pictures. And I believe I counted 38 add-ons of, of um, pull-outs and tags and photo mounts. Um, I believe I counted 38, so that's quite a lot. Anyway, uh, thank you, and come on over anytime to allthingspaper.blogspot.com and leave a comment, say hello, and uh, or visit me on my Facebook page, which there's a link on my blog to my Pinterest and my uh, Facebook. So have a great day, and thank you. Bye-bye.